Hello, welcome to Jadekind Gaming. My name is Adam and today I will be unboxing a simple and fun game that's uh, good to play with, you know, whether friends or family gatherings, Flux. And I'm confident that it's fun because I, I have it previously. I have the third edition, an old used copy that I got ages ago. And now I got the fifth edition, which even then came out, what was it? 2014 or something? Um, so, <laughs> new. But I believe it is the new, at least just sort of standard version of the game. Um, though they do have, like, skins of the game, whether, you know, science fiction or Monty Python or whatever, different, like, versions of it. They use the same mechanics, but look different. Um, but basic game, fun, easy, and like I said, good. To, if you need something around like the holidays or whatever, when you have family gatherings, it's easy to pick up because the game explains the rules with the game. Um, but let's take a look here. So, I'll try and go, peel it out of the plastic. This is Flux. The card game with ever-changing rules. That actually makes it easier to understand. There's a basic rules card to start the game. There's new rules to change the way the game is played. There are actions to shake up your turn. Uh, you collect the keepers shown on the current goal to win. Um, contains 100 cards and instructions, 2 to 6 players, 8 to adult. Five to thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah, here different just versions of Flux, Doctor Who Flux, be fun. Star Trek, um, Star Flux, Monty Python Flux, other games they made. How to play Flux. Um, executive summary. Flux is a game about constant change. Begin by following the basic rules. Each player starts with a hand of three cards. On your turn, draw one card, play one card. New rules take effect as soon as you play them. Collect keepers to match the goal and you win. Types of cards. New rules. Change the game. They say do what they say. Keepers. Um, are on the table in front of you. Uh, goals are in the center of the table. Discard the previous goal, if any, when you play them. Um, and it will say, like, if you have certain keepers, that's what makes you win. Actions do what it says. Um, turn sequence, draw the number of cards currently required. Play the number of cards currently required. Discard to comply with any limit rules in play. Um... Game continues until someone meets the conditions of the current goal. That player wins instantly, no matter whose turn it is. If a tie, the game continues until one winner emerges. Um, so you have players with keepers in front of them, the basic rules, but new rules on top of them or onto the side if they don't replace the basic rules, the goal, the draw and discard pile, and each player just has uh, keepers, and then actions go to the discard as they're played. Um, Some specifics is needed. Expansion packs available. Anyways, that's all too complex for what the game is. It does not need to be that complex. Basic rules. This is the one that starts in play. And if you look at the back of the cards, it has a different back. To begin, shuffle your deck and deal three cards to each player. Choose someone to go first. Keep this card on the table. It tells you how to start. Draw one, play one. And there are keepers like dreams, music, the party, sun, love, peace, sleep, the brain, bread, chocolate, cookies, milk, money, the eye, the moon, the rocket, toaster, television, time. We have goal. Have five keepers. Ten cards in hand. See, these are... Irrelevant, you know, to what keeper you have or anything. Uh, appliances. 
toaster and television. If you have toaster and television in play, you win. Baked goods, bread and cookies, you win. Sleep and, so when this is played, you know, you draw one, play one at the start. If you already have the keepers out and you play this goal and you already have sleep and time, you win. If uh, no one has television on the table, the player with the brain on the table wins. So nobody can have TV, and then you want to have the brain. Um, yeah, different, you know, chocolate milk, daydreams, dreamland, sleeping dreams, eye of the beholder, the eye love. So, like, using those different keeper cards, you know, you get different goals. Obviously, there are some that are weirder, but a lot of them are just have two different goals. Um, party snacks, the party, and at least one food keeper. Party time, rocket science, rocket to the moon. Okay, then we get to some new rules top of the stack here because no hand bonus start a turn event if empty hand didn't draw three cards before observing the current draw rule party bonus uh, if someone has the party on the table all players draw one extra card and play one extra card during their turns so this is a rule that affects based on if the, a certain keepers on the table um, Having fewest or most keepers. Uh, double agenda. A second goal can now be played. After this, whenever uh, whoever plays a new goal must choose which of the current goals is to discard. You win if you satisfy either goal. Draw two. Draw three. Draw four. Draw five. So, you know, replaces the draw rule. So instead of draw one, draw five cards per turn. And if you just play the card draw, extra cards is needed to reach uh, five cards drawn. Uh, first play random. Get on with it. Uh, before your final play, if you are uh, not emptied handed, uh, you may discard your entire hand and draw three cards. Your turn then am ends immediately. Goal mill. Hand limit zero. If it isn't your turn, you can have zero cards in your hand. Discard extras immediately during your turn. This rule does not apply to you. After your turn ends, discard down to zero cards. Which, with no hand bonus, would instantly make it that. Or hand limit one, two. Uh, inflation. Anytime a numeral is seen on another card, like hand limit two, uh, add one to that number. So it would make it hand limit three. Uh, keeper limit two or three. So you can only have so many keepers out. Uh, mystery play, play two. So instead of draw draw one, play one, it'd be draw one, play two. Play two cards. If you have fewer than that, play all your cards. Play three, play four, play all. Play all but one. Recycling swap plays for draws. During your turn, you may decide to play no more cards and instead draw as many cards as you have plays remaining. So you can stop playing and just draw more cards. Uh, and then we get, should be last of me, yeah, actions. Okay, um, which these are instantly done. So discard and draw. You play this, it goes right into the discard. Discard your entire hand, then draw as many cards as you had discarded. Uh, do not count this card when determining how many cards to draw. Um, draw two and use them. Draw two cards, play them in any order you choose, then pick up your hand and continue your turn. So you, you just set your hand aside. So this is draw two, play them. Draw three, play two of them. Um, empty the trash, start a new discard pile with this card, and shuffle the rest of the discarded pile back into the draw pile. So that's how things get back in the draw pile. Everybody gets one. Exchange keepers. Pick any keeper another player has on the table and exchange it for one you have on the table. Draw three extra cards. No limits. Discard all hand and keeper limits currently in play. Rotate hands. All players pass their hands to the player next to them. You decide which direction. 
Rules reset. Back to the basic rules. Steal a keeper. Take another turn. Trade hands. Trash a keeper. Trash a new rule. Use what you take. Take a card at random from another player's hand and play it. Choose any card in play anywhere on the table, except for basic rules, and add it to your hand. So, it's simple. Uh, some of the, you know, it showed some of the different versions, you know, from fandoms. If you like one of those, the rules are just as simple, um, but can definitely... Um, make things more interesting. Um, but just in general, as a quick game to pick up, play, help, you know, people can just hop in with little thought. Um, makes for a fun game. Um, so I will link down below where you can pick it up online. And if you have not played or checked out Flux, uh, I would say do so. Um, it's a good one. Just I, I have enjoyed having it on the shelf, and now I have the updated version. The old version had less cards, so this adds some new stuff. Um, but the old version was fun, too. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.